In an earlier section, I showed you how to customize your mouse right click to open a shortcut menu. I like to have these turned on because they can give you quick access to often used commands or tools right where you're working. You won't have to hunt for them or type on the command line to get them. There are several different shortcut menus that you can use. Each one depends on your current activity or situation. If you don't have anything going on, meaning you haven't selected an object, nor have you started a command, then a right click will get you the default shortcut menu. I'll show you. I have some basic shapes here, rectangle, circle, triangle, and then a line. I have no command started and nothing selected. Right click, right click and a hold because that's the way I have my settings set up. If I did just a right click, it repeats my last command. So right click hold, and I have my default shortcut menu. With it, you can cut, copy, paste, pan, zoom, move, and more. You have a lot of different clipboard functionalities. You can isolate objects, undo, move, etc. Very useful, very common operating tools that you have available to you right there, right by your mouse. So you don't have to hunt for them. You don't have to type them on the command line. You can get to them very quickly and very easily. It's a big time saver. Now, if you have an object that's selected and you want to get to the edit mode shortcut menu, again, just right click. Now, depending on your functionality, it's going to depend on what you're going to be able to do. So how you want it to behave, if it's not behaving the way I'm showing you, you may want to take a look at it. Go to your user preferences, right click customizations, and turn your shortcut menus on. Hit apply and close, and OK. Now, what you want to do in the edit mode is not hold. As I was showing you there, I was having trouble with it. When you select something and right click and hold, it executes a special option that allows you to move, copy, or paste your object, or just cancel. That's a edit mode right click menu option. Now the way I have everything set at the moment, I can select it and then right click. Not a right click and hold, but a right click. And now I get my editing shortcut menu. I can repeat my command, recent input, clipboard again, isolate, or I can erase, move, copy, scale, rotate, drawing order, etc. As you can see, most of these commands are self-explanatory. It's the command itself. I can't really rotate a circle, but I can scale it, or I can copy it. Let's try that one. Now I just tell AutoCAD where I want to put my circles. When I'm finished with the command, I press Enter, or right click, or Escape. Now I can rotate this triangle by selecting it, then right click, and pick the rotate option. Pick my base point of rotation, and now my angle of rotation. I don't have to hunt for a command, I don't have to type in anything, I can just work. That's where right click shortcuts come in handy. Now when a command has been started and you right click, you'll get the command mode options. For example, L for line, we'll start something and then we'll right click. That works as an enter command, the way my settings are. So I'll start my line command again and hold, right click and hold. Now I can go to enter, I can cancel the command, recent input, these are different coordinates on which I've created lines, you know, or the points to the lines. I can use my snap overrides. We'll talk about snap overrides in another section, but the snap overrides will snap you right into place. They will make sure that you are drawing accurately. They will take you to an endpoint of an object, like the vertex or vertice of one of these rectangular or square-like corners. It will take you to the end point of a line, etc. You can go right to the center of a circle, to the quadrant, a tangent point, to a perpendicular aspect of an object, parallel, etc. They get you right to the point. They are called snaps. 
or I can pan zoom, get my steering wheel or the quick calculator up. Now, the command line shortcut menu will be different all the time, meaning for different commands, it will look different. That was the line command. Let's start the move command. Pick my point and right click and hold. Some of the basics are there, like the panning and zooming, etc., um, entering, canceling, recent input, because I'm going from coordinate to coordinate, that's similar, but I have different dynamic input. I can turn on absolute coordinates or go to a WCS coordinate. Absolute coordinate means the exact value. I'm going five units away from my current point or the WCS, which is the world coordinate systems, meaning I'm going to an exact coordinate regardless of how far away it is. And again, I get my snap overrides. So you can see the right click command shortcut menu will vary for different commands because different commands and tools have different needs and functions. So that will vary slightly. Typically right clicking will give you an appropriate shortcut menu for what you're currently doing. So as you work with AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT and you need to do something with your command or an object or you're in some situation and you're not sure what to do, right click. It could be a real time saver. Also, it will help you to learn the abilities of the commands that you're using. So I have a saying, when in doubt, right click. Everything in AutoCAD can be customized, even the right click function. It used to be that the right click was nothing more than an enter command. Well, you still have that option, and it's a great time saving option. But you can use either the enter or the shortcut version of the right click. There's even a hybrid version, which we went over earlier in another section, but we'll quickly review it again. To set this, open the options menu by right clicking with nothing selected and with no command started. You can right click or right click and hold depending on how your settings are, and go to the options. Go to the User Preferences tab and to the right click customization. This is how I typically work. The default setting is with this turned off and the shortcut menu is all turned on. And as you can see, we have the default mode, the edit mode, and the command mode. Each one basically repeats the last command, which is the enter key, or a shortcut menu. Now the command mode is slightly different. It's enter. Shortcut menu, which is always enabled, or a shortcut menu enabled when a command option is present. So, in other words, it will give you the shortcut menu only when there are options. Essentially, it's going to be all the time. There are very few cases where you won't be able to have this criteria. But what I prefer to do is to use the time sensitive right click or the hybrid version so that you get the enter key and the shortcut menu functionality in your right clicking. You don't get that option in edit mode, so I typically keep it as a shortcut menu. When I use the shortcut menu in edit mode, I can still have an option for the enter button if that's what I want to do. Find the settings that work best for you. This is my recommendation. Do what works best for you. Apply and close and OK.